Hello, and welcome to another another episode of Carl's Copters. Today we are doing the allotments. This is another part in the series. I hope you've been following it and watching it. Today, um, it's late spring now, on the verge of summer, and uh, all the crops are growing really nicely. Everything's working as it should. We made a few changes as well, and not only that, we've also got weeds. Weeds are a nightmare. Um, I've seemed to have coped so far with the slugs, snails, birds, rats, cats and any other, other pests that we got that were four legs or two legs. They seem to have worked on my systems. And the only snag is, is the weeds. We've been the first year and um, I think next year we'll have less and less weeds because I'm not joking, I've pulled a lot of weeds out just lately. I mean, we've even got weeds growing in the shed. Take a look. Coming up through the floor. This is the only thing you see, but we can't use weed killer, we're not allowed to, so we've been an organic allotment. And um, as you can see, we need a bit more decorating to do, but uh, this is a job for winter now. Anyway, let's have a look. We've got this nice pallet decking we put on, it's got all the mud that we need to use. Okay, chaps, this is the greenhouse, which we might get do away with next year. Fruit trees have come on really well, and look at that, a wheelbarrow full of weeds I've done already. Just weeds everywhere. As we swing round, I've sort of abandoned the greenhouse for now, because it did its job just to get the plants growing, the seeding started, but well, I'm going to turn that into a new water system um, during the winter, we think. There's a wheelbarrow full of weeds. We've got some lovely apples growing there, look. Marvellous. There's no fruit on this tree as, as yet. And then we've got a plum tree that we planted back in the uh, in the winter. No fruit on that, but it'll probably take a year or two before you get fruit. Rhubarb down there, slowly coming on, and I mean slowly. Uh, we've had loads of rain and it's trying to rain again. Here's the strawberry patch. I put wood bark around, and as you can see, the strawberries are coming up really nice. The wood bark, you see, stops all the snails and slugs in this area because I've not protected this bit yet with a force field system. And also it keeps the uh, weeds down to a minimum. Over there it looks a bit rough and ready. But that's going to be, uh, there's pumpkins growing in there. Until they come up, I can't tell what's a pumpkin and what's a weed yet. So let's go and have a look. This is my grass area. Water stick. There's my wind turbine, as we've seen in previous episodes. Um, but there's no wind today, it's just rain. And also I might have to upgrade it slightly. Right, let's have a look. We've got our finger points. We've got our sprouts there, all growing nicely. Ready for the wind, uh, uh, Christmas dinner. And we've also put in um, beetroot as well. So they're to be doing nice. Look at the onions, chaps. Look at all these onions. I've been weeding in between the onions. It is difficult. You don't want to disturb the onion too much. But if you keep the weeds down for a minimum, you should be alright. Over here, this is the first potato patch that we did. It's uh, not as good as the second one. But I'm going to see what I can do with that. In here, some more onions. But that needs redoing. And this is the second potato patch. As you can see, coming on a real good treat there. And under this polytunnel, we've also got some celery. Um, but I'm not going to take it out yet. I'm going to give it another week or so. And we'll see what's under there. We've also planted lettuce. Well, lettuce is doing really well. I'm not going to weed this bit yet. And as you can see down here, there's the copper strip. It runs to the turbine. It gives it a little bit of energy stops the slugs and snails and here this is what the kids did there's beans there or peas I'm gonna let them weed that bit good luck to that this is a little bit of a path and as you can see down here they've got carrots coming up see but until they get a little bit bigger I ain't gonna weed that bit either otherwise you end up pulling the carrots out and then it's just wasted the time um, but like I say 
the ground's really good here as the weeds are popping up everywhere there's the seating area these are our fruit bushes we put some wood bark down there it is there chaps but without a force field you can see it even runs to here runs the whole length width and all the way along the side but if you don't have a force field the next doors it's a shame innit slugs and all sorts get him like here caterpillars and all sorts of any I'm going to put a new path down. I keep upgrading the path every time. We've had the flowers. I don't remember the flowers that were there. we put them in. It's raining now, so I'm getting in. <sighs> yep. We had the flowers. Um, we harvest the flowers and take the flowers home. So that was really a first crop, even though we can't eat flowers. So that did really well. It was just really just to suppress the weeds. That's the thing, you see. So if you get anything in the ground, uh, it's less chance for the weeds to grow. That's what I always say. You always say one year seed, seven years weed, something like that. <laughs> I'm full of muck. And join us next time for the next episode of Cole's Copters Allotment Corner. Uh, any suggestions? Don't forget to um, subscribe, and you can always leave comments at the bottom. Any ideas or anything like that? Be great. Thanks very much. Um, uh, next time we're going to grow um, cauliflowers. I'm going to see how the uh, things are doing, the onions, see if they need harvesting. And uh, good luck and see about the strawberries as well. And also I'll show you some stuff that I'm growing at home. Uh, next On the next video I'm growing tomato plants because tomato plants need watering every day and you can't get to the allotment every day. So, au revoir for now and hasta la vista. And see you soon.